Ladies and gentlemen, it is the biggest cricket game in four years. It is Australia and India in the Cricket World Cup final. For the first time in 20 years, I believe they're playing off in a final since 2003, where Australia went uh, through the World Cup clean swept and won the whole thing. They will be taking on India, of course, uh, tonight in what is going to be an absolutely cracking encounter at Narendra Modi Stadium where India haven't lost a game this World Cup. Australia won their last eight games uh, with one of their last losses coming against uh, India. I've won the toss here. I'm actually going to chase, which will be a little different to how we've done it in the past. But we'll see how we go against the Indian side, who are, have been very, very good throughout this entire World Cup. Here are the Australians making their way onto the field. And the two Indian openers, Rohit Sharma and Shubman Gill, Plenty in store for them today. Australia, they've got five World Cups to their name. Can they add another today? It's Mitchell Stark to Rohit Sharma to begin things. He's got that away. His runs, early days for India. We'll have to be very good in the field. Keep it nice and tidy if we can. There's an outside edge. That's going to go to the boundary. First one of the day for India. Of course, in our World Cup, uh, this is this is our World Cup, so it's crazy that we've got the same final uh, that you ended up with in the real world. I think we ended up having three of the four teams. Uh, actually, no, we only had two teams that uh, made it in real life into the semis, uh, which was Australia and India, and our other two semifinals were Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. But I think these have been, you know, probably one of the best modern-day rivals oh, of the last 10 or so years. It's five from the first. I think tonight's game will be decided uh, off the Australian batting innings. We know what we're going to get from India. Uh, and their bowlers especially have been the standouts of this tournament. So if Australia's batting lineup can give them the best possible chance, uh, that will be a really interesting one. I think Australia's bowlers are going to do a good job. You know India's probably going to make somewhere in the 320 plus mark. Uh, anywhere above that, he, he's going to be very, very competitive. Especially that semi-final where they made, what, 390-odd. They do that again. You would expect them to be walking out World Cup champions. That's nice and fine at a boundary. But their bowlers, especially in home conditions, have been extremely superb through this tournament. If they can pull that off again, then uh, obviously you would expect them to go on and win. Another five from the second. It's none for ten. Got that nicely down the ground. That'll be four. Oh, that's two full, two straight. And that'll be four for Shubman Gill. Worked away. That'll be four. First boundary in a while. There was some pressure starting to build. Oh, he's whipped it. Is there a man in the deep? Not capable of catching that. That's six. The Aussie captain Cummins to the middle. Whipped. And six. And I think India are just starting to get a bit of a roll on here. Oh, miss hit. But I think it's going to go all the way. It is. There it is. The 50 partnership for the Indian openers. I mean, 8.1 overs. So they've... Waited out their time. They haven't really taken full advantage of the power play. Still a couple of overs left in it. They have been pretty good with the ball. Terrific over this from Cummins. Just the one coming from it. And Gill has punished him on the last ball for getting two straight. Ah, oh, it's in the air. And it's over the top for six. Steve Smith has moved into a fourth slip. Because of where Gill has been nicking the ball. And the ball now goes fine. Dana Boundary manipulating the field to perfection. Gill on 49. Goes down the ground and that's 50. Absolutely spashed that one. Spashed it. <laughs> Eight fours, three sixes. And 49 balls. Striking at 108 in a World Cup final. Terrific stuff. Oh, it's in the air. There's a man who could catch it. But it's gone all the way for six. So Maxwell into the attack and immediately his first over. 
They're able to get him away. Oh, down the ground and all the way. Huge shot. Or oh, reverse and away for four. That is a lovely strike. Oh, across. Six again. 50 up for the Indian captain, Rohit Sharma. Comes down the wicket. Doesn't get all of it. One bounce, four. Across. In the air. But it's over everyone. He's into the 90s, Rohit Sharma. They haven't really looked likely throughout this innings to get him out. He comes down the wicket. There's a man in the deep. Oh. Just can't take the catch. They end up getting the single. Is that it? It is it. There's the 100. The 200 up for the team. And it's 102 for Rohit Sharma. 11 sixes. Six fours. Oh, he's got to find Shubman Gill. And there's 100 as well. Two centuries within the over for the Indian openers. He's got 14, sorry, 13 fours, seven sixes. Shubman Gill for his 100 as well. And he's going to end 29th over with another boundary. None for 209. Short ball should be out. Oh my goodness, it's over Hazelwood's head. What's he doing? Oh yes. Finally a breakthrough. Cummins gets through him. A big outswinging Yorker into the bottom of the off stump. Shubman Gill will have to depart, but what an innings it's been. 115. Oh yes, that is great. All the way for six. Reverse. Oh, it was in the air, and it's going to be four. Thought Smith was a chance of a catch. Oh, that is a lovely shot. In the gap and four. Two for 281. Actually done all right there. Could only get the one, maybe the two. A little bit of combo fielding between Warner and Zampa in the deep. Uh, we're into the final 10 overs. 291. That's what India has. Get that extra field around in the deep now. Ollie goes straight down the ground. I think that's six. It is. Oh, it is big. There's no chance of a catch. 300 up. They're eyeing 400 here. Oh, that's out. A little edge through to Josh Inglis. To catch nonetheless. Uh, Coley's out for 35. It's three for 302. Oh, high. And I think also very, very far for six. Oh, yes, beautiful. Cummins delivers another wicket. Just a little inside edge to help it on its way. But he got it through the gate. It's four for three, two, seven. Oh, another one for Cummins. He is bowling terrific today. This is his third one. Have a look at the shape of it. And just playing around it there, Yadav. So he's out for two, it's five. For three, two, nine. Upish, six. Jadeja doesn't muck about. Six more. 370. That's six again. Wow. And a length ball. This should be oh, six again. Three, three, three sixes. Oh, is this four sixes? It is four sixes in the over. Can he get six? That's a chance, perhaps. Zampa drops it. Got him. Chopped it on. Jadeja. Another one bold. Just mistiming that one. He's out for 14. Six for 371. Jeez, Rolls had a great little cameo here. And that's going to be another boundary to end. The 49, six for 385. Can they get to 400? Oh, yes, it is six. 
Might have been. That's another one. 400 is up for India. And that's more. That is somehow all the way. And it's going to end with a six. 414 for six. Stark throws his head in the air. And this is going to need to be a simply remarkable chase. If Australia are any hope of pulling off a victory. Six for four, one for off the back of the two openers. A 235 run opening stand. Cummins had three wickets for Australia. Zampa and Stark won a piece and Warner the run out of Rohit Sharma. The Australian bowlers smashed all around the park. Maxwell's none for 67, as we said. Actually looks like pretty good figures in the end. The spinners doing a nice job, but the seamers absolutely carted around the park as Australia went for 414 runs. They'll need 415 to win this World Cup. It's going to need to be an absolutely huge sort of an innings here for the Australians to win this. The World Cup final to be decided. Australia needing 415 for victory. Jasper Bumra steaming in with a new ball. Come off the pad. We'll run that straight away. Oh, he's got the line wrong there. And that is six for head. And this is maybe the one area in the match Australia can get ahead is through the power play. India only made about 60 runs or so in their power play. If Australia can better that. Yeah, they'll be in a good spot. Mash down the ground. Four runs. Short. Pulled. Four. Straight back down. Past the bowler. Four again. Four. For Warner to finish off the second. None for 35. Edged. Oh, what's happened there to the keeper? He's forgotten about the ball. Big sided. Now the boundary ends the over. We'll take that. None for 47 off three. In the air. Taken. A miss hit from Warner. Shubman Gill with the catch. Got it over short cover, but not over Gill. Australia one for 51. Huge moment. This time he gets it past where first slip would have been. And that's... A 50 and 19 balls for Travis Head. 10 fours and a six in it. Got it through the gap he has. Four again. Four. To Marsh easing it through mid wickets. Oh my goodness, what a shot. 50 partnership, 100 up for Australia. Oh, and he's got him. A spinner has come on. Kuldeep Yadav and first ball has got rid of Travis Head. That is a big moment. Two for one, one, three. Wickets were hitting. So I guess it would have remained out uh, and we would have lost the review. So maybe a, a good decision to not send it upstairs. Look at that spin on that one. Especially if you've got to pick the wrong one. Oh, no way. What is going on here? It's gone between my legs. Oh, Smith. Oh, it's gone straight through the bat. It has gone straight through the bat, everyone. What can you do about that? Kuldeep Yadav's first over has been simply superb. It's three for one, one, seven after nine. Remember, the Indian opening stand was 235. They had plenty of uh, chance at the back end of the innings to go for it. I think he's hit that in between his legs, Mitch Marsh. That's a boundary to end the over. Inside edge. Somehow missed the stumps. A nice little rebuilding phase right now. Is all the way. He goes again. And he finds four again. Three for one, six, four. They continue to punish Boomer's bowling. He's got the reverse away. 
That'll be four. Oh, up and over from Mitch Marsh and six. The first real risky shot we've seen the Australians take in a while. Boy, he's got that fine. Another boundary. Four more. Again, he's just pitching it up and Mitch Marsh moves to 49. You can see the intensity on his face at the moment. Cut away, got it fine. 50 up for Mitchell Marsh. 200 up for Australia. Been a terrific partnership. Nine falls and a six. Short pulled. Is this a chance? It is, and it's taken. Shammy gets the breakthrough. Mitch Marsh mistimed his shot. Marsh out for 53. It's four for 209. So Josh Inglis will join Manus Labashane. Out there in the middle. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, my goodness. How has that shot worked? It's going to be four for Josh Inglis to get off the mark. Four for 216. <laughs> oh, Manus, we'll have to go. Kuldeep Yadav gets another wicket. Raul, oh, that's it. I mean, look, I got a wicket like that, I suppose. But it's five for two, two, three. Short, Maxwell pulls it for six. And then he cuts it fine in the next ball. Five for 2.45 after 29. Inglis back down past the bowler. Four more runs. 2.50 up. Four in the air and over the top. And six, I think, for Josh Inglis. It is. Jeez, I don't know how it carried so far. That right on the current rate and the required. 8.35 is what's needed. In the air and four. Do need to start getting a bit of a move on here, the Aussies. Short, pulled, four. We're gonna, what do we need? More than 10 and over for these last 10. It's doable. Inglis takes it on and gets it all the way. Oh, is that out? Inglis is walking. It's been given. I have to, I almost have to review this. And I've chosen not to because the game is silly. It hasn't even hit me in line. Inglis out for 50. It's 6 for 319. I was trying to review this. Pitching outside off. Impact umpire's call. Wicket's umpire's call. Would have remained out. Oh, look at that. That is so narrow. Don't know how they've given that out. Now, responsibility... Balls on the shoulders of the one and only Glenn Maxwell. In the air, over the top. Four runs, 50 for Maxi. Six for three, two, six. Another edge, and it's gonna be four again. Can you believe that, the keeping? Sometimes they're god tier, sometimes they are absolutely in the bin. Maxi goes big, that's six. Jammy two full. He goes again! Big again! Oh, where's the fielding there? Left it behind. Oh, it's straight to the man! Oh, but it's past him at six! I was, I was very concerned. It was a low hit, but it was a hard hit. And look at how straight Jadeja is. That is going to be six again. And Australia could be in the box seat here. Short pulled one. 45 overs gone. Stark will hold strike. 377 for six. Five overs to go. 33 runs available. Short. And by short, I mean shot. <laughs> it's six for Maxwell. Jadeja's big full toss off his last ball. Sent into the stands. 
Oh, that's not a great hit. Can we get two? No, I don't think so. Three overs to go. The one. Stark will get off strike, and that will give Maxi the opportunity to win this. 27 from 17. Who is in the, the best spot? You would think Australia, while Maxwell is still in. I can cover. Edged! 400! It's a big milestone, but he can't really celebrate for too long because it is the World Cup on the line. 16 balls, 23 runs. Leave that. Got it through the gap. Is it four? At least two. It is four. Maxwell gets the single. Which will basically give Stark a free hit here. Knowing Maxwell will be on strike for the next over. It's 18 from 13. Shammy to Stark. He goes down the ground. Has he got it all the way? Mitchell Stark's hit a six. 400 up for Australia. It's 12 from 12. Can they do it? You'd say box seat from here. That's almost a wide. Pai says a dot. Smashed. Four. Obliterated. They need a wicket here, India. Goes down the ground, Maxwell. Has it got the carry? Is it all the way for six? It is all the way for six. It's actually two to win. My apologies. Two to win. Oh, swing and a miss. Down the ground. Is that the match? Is that the World Cup? It is the match. It is the World Cup for Australia. Yes. Get in. What a chase. Oh, my God. How have I done that? How have I done that? Honestly, you would not read about it. Pat Cummins is your player of the game for his three for 36. I mean, it probably should have been Glenn Maxwell's 129 out. Let's be real, everyone. Sharma and Gill with hundreds. Rolls 65 not out. For the Aussies, it was Maxwell, Head, Labashane, Marsh. Even Inglis, I think, made a half century. It was contributions everywhere with the bat. And then Maxwell brought it home with Mitchell Stark's little cameo there of 23 from 20 as Australia went on to win the World Cup by four wickets with just seven balls remaining. Honestly, that is one of the, the most fun matchups I've ever played in any cricket game ever. A 400 plus chase that was genuinely hard that like had ebbs and flows in it throughout. And I felt like I was always a chance of winning it, but always, always a chance of bottling it as well. That was so much fun. And like, you look at the worm, the whole way I was like always a little bit ahead, which was just what I needed. That little bit of extra starting power to give me off to an absolute flyer. It would have been great to see like a win vis or something. Here was the run rate for the two teams. Australia was never behind in the match, but it got very close. I was just always narrowly ahead of where the Indian side was. And that's what allowed me to get there with uh, an over to spare in the sheds. What a game it was. I hope you've enjoyed this one day World Cup series. I hope the game tonight is as thrilling and interesting as that was that I've just played out. Um, and I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.